heaven. Why, that's outrageous! But we're going out of business if we don't make some changes. They want free snacks, massages, and raises every year. Then most of them go on disability with full pay anyway. You revolting chiselers, you! They're trying to fire me for sleeping at my desk. You were drunk! Well, you would be too! He's just deadening the pain inside from being trapped as a mediocre cog in the dead-end machine of capitalism. But he's the CFO! I said American workers should be able to retire at age 35 and receive health care! And a salary for life on your dime. Otherwise, what's the point? That's impossible! That's not how economics work! Don't you understand? I'm extremely rich! I understand how economics work and what the working class needs! They want a six-pack of beer, yeah. an eager girl in their pickup truck, yeah. and a depressing folk tune playing on the radio. This here's a free country, boy! Free, but with thousands of rules and regulations to keep greedy corporations like you in line. If you don't like it, move to China. But, but because of the free trade agreement, that's where we'll have to move the company if we don't want to go out of business. We just want a sensible discussion of the issue. Oh, you're nothing short of a disgrace. If peaceful protest won't change your mind, we're going to have to solve this the old-fashioned way. With mind bending liberal impotent rage! <laughs> Victory for the working man! My work here is done. But our workplace is destroyed! Ah, hell, go on welfare! Kick back, get a six-pack and relax. You deserve it after all this work. Wait, we just want to work! Braxton Industries, headed by billionaire liberal playboy Braxton Hunter, recently celebrated the closing of another high... Well, I only have one piercing. The theater?! Uh, you queers are all the same. Singing and dancing and carrying on with your musicals and whatnot. Soldiers, enough. Get to your bunks. Reveille at 0600 hours, mall at 0900. Shit, we're pinned down! Throw a grenade and I'll flank them! Dick, yeah! I want you. What? I fantasize about being physically and emotionally intimate with you and rubbing things all over your... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop right there! God! Damn it! I knew this would happen if they let fruit in the fucking Space Rangers! Listen, your con has no business in the military. How does this feel? Oh, uh... Well, it's, uh... It's, uh that's a fucking... Serious distraction right there. I'm a bottom. Take me. Give it to me. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Dick, you dumb shit. Wake up. Wake up. What? Where? Why? How? Me? What the hell were you dreaming about there, soldier? Uh, race cars? Uh, uh, titties? Uh, b b b bacon, uh, bacon titties, uh, an idealized vision of the past. I sure as hell hope so, son, especially the latter. Now, you get your ass moving. We got a report to the recruitment kiosk at the mall. Say. Ain't this beautiful? It is beautiful, son. About the most goddamn beautiful thing I ever seen. You see, it's what we spent all these months and years fighting for. Freedom. I'm speaking of the freedom to buy lots of plastic rack crap made in foreign countries by adorable slant-eyed kids in sweatshops. Crap that breaks and is instantly out of date, and the very act of buying it makes us feel inadequate because we can't afford the more expensive or up-to-date version no matter how much fucking debt we take on. It's the only kind of freedom that matters. And how? Maybe not the only kind.
I'm not stoned at all. Hell no, not at all. Completely, not stoned. Completely not stoned. I'm straight. Completely.